February 11th, 2023. This was the day my friend and I decided to start playing the game known as Hypixel Skyblock. Of course, old things have to start somewhere. When you first spawn in, you are greeted with a portal and a strange man named Jerry. Obviously, the most logical thing to do is chop down a tree and bridge over to investigate the portal. Then, the portal is entered. The first time I saw the Hypixel Skyblock hub, I was overwhelmed to say the least. There's so many sights and sounds and so much stuff just pops out at you all at once. And I had no idea what to do or where to go. Luckily, my friend, nothing too much, had a plan. You see, he had played the game a little a couple years ago. And though he was just as rusty as I, he knew three main goals we should aim for. Firstly, getting to the bottom layer of the deep caverns. Secondly, unlocking the bazaar. And lastly, getting to the end and acquiring a full set of end armor. So ignoring all the bells and whistles of the lobby, off I went towards the deep caverns. So first off, what even is the deep caverns? To put it simple, it's just a place where you can get pretty much any ore. But to get there, you first have to go through two zones. The coal mines and the gold mines which only take about 10-15 minutes to get through. So yeah, actually getting there was really easy. But the deep caverns is comprised of 6 different layers, each layer having a different ore. So now I need to traverse my way to the bottom layer of the deep caverns. I almost instantly found the entrance to the second layer containing lapis, and it was only a few more minutes until I found the entrance to the third layer. The fourth layer containing emeralds came soon after. I felt unstoppable breezing through four layers that easily, but I was finally stopped upon entering the fifth layer. I had been killed by a minor zombie. This made me realize I wouldn't be able to venture down unless there was some change. And that change was acquiring a set of armor. Nothing too much told me we should go for the lapis armor. It has a 1% chance to drop from the mobs in the first layer. So we decide to start grinding. Well, after killing Lapis Zombies for about an hour straight, me and nothing too much were decked out in Lapis Armor. Now, there was nothing stopping us from going to the final floor. So yes, we made it to the final layer and completed our first goal. So then came the next order of business. The bazaar is basically just a community market. You can sell your things or buy things that other people are selling. But to better understand the purpose of the bazaar, we first have to talk about the point of Hypixel Skyblock up until now. The point of early game Hypixel Skyblock is to gather resources, unlock new resources, and use your gathered resources to craft those new unlocked resources, which then in turn help you to more efficiently gather resources. And this is the endless cycle of early game Hypixel Skyblock. Then a variable called the Bazaar is introduced. The new name of the game is Money. Gather resources and sell them. Get the coins in your bank up and up and up. And if you ever need anything, just buy it. This is what the bazaar adds to the game. Capitalism. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my TED talk explaining the bazaar. So anyways, I was very excited to be able to practice capitalism in Minecraft, but the bazaar NPC had the audacity to reject me and tell me I had to be level 7 to use it. Luckily for me, I was already level 5 due to all the mining I did. So all I had to do was kill some more mobs and gather some more resources to get to level 7. I had already done copious amounts of mining so I decided against that. Instead, I traveled to a place called the barn. Just like a real life barn, you can farm crops, farm more crops, and of course, ruthlessly murder innocent animals. Of course, just like a real barn. I have to say, mining crops in Minecraft is such a relaxing thing to do, so it wasn't long before I hit level 6. Unfortunately, my attention span is so low that I was already getting bored of farming. The barn animals were too easy to kill. I wanted a challenge, so I decided to go to the spider's den. I'm not going to explain what this is because it's literally in its name. It, it, it's a den that has spiders in it. W what more do you need to know? But I digress. So after farming out the spiders for about 5 minutes, I leveled up to level 7. And now there was nothing stopping me from using the bazaar. And with that, we had crossed off our second goal. Now it was time for the final challenge, reach the end. Which of course had a requirement, because what in this game does not have a requirement? Anyways, if I wanted to get to the end, I would have to get my combat level to 12. And you know, that's exactly what I did. I ended up farming 10 times more spiders than I did to get to level 7. So it pretty much took the same amount of time as the Lapis Armor did, but it was worth it since I finally had access to the end. And just like that, I had completed all three goals. Besides getting a full set of end armor. Now acquiring this armor is just like the Lapis Armor. Any armor piece has a 1% chance to drop from Endermen, but the difference is Lapis Zombies had 300 health. Endermen have between 4,500 and 9,000. And as it was, I was barely even tickling them. I was in a very big problem. That is, if capitalism wasn't a thing. You see, in the hub, there's a place just like the bazaar where you can buy other people's things. It's called the Auction House. In the auction house, lots of people sell this certain sword called the Aspect of the End. But due to all the bizarre grinding we had done, I had way more than enough to afford it. And so, the Aspect of the End was bought. Now, it was time to test my damage. We went from doing 130 crit damage to 3340 crit damage. Some people say money can't buy you happiness, but money can buy you damage. Now it was time to get some end armor. A little bit off topic, but if you're wondering about nothing too much, by now he already had a full set of end armor as well as an aspect of the end. He was miles ahead of me. Anyways, back to the video. So, the grind commenced. So yeah, and then I was able to get a full set of Ender Armor. But this means I had finally completed the last goal. And yeah, so in the end I was able to complete all three goals. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Hypixel Skyblock video. So long, goodbye.